Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. And today I am filming my favorite kind of video. Uh, and this isn't all of them. There's more in front of me. A lot more. So obviously today I'm filming a lip swatch video for you guys. These are the City Color B Matte Lipsticks. Now I want to start by prefacing this video with, in 2014 I rated these lipsticks my least favorite lipstick on the market. I had two colors. I told you guys I hated them both. They were skippy and patchy and dryy. Dryy, it's not even a word. Anyway, um, I told you guys that because they were. So then I got sent three. I got sent Salmon, Coral, and Fire. And they were completely different than any of the ones I had ever tried. So I have now received a whole bunch more. I think I have 23 in total. So there are 34 colors in this line in total. Of the 34, I now have 23, so I'm only missing 11. And I think the 11 are shades that I just knew I wouldn't wear. They were the purples or they were nudes. And I don't generally wear either of those tones. I'm sorry, Stephanie, please don't hate me. I love you. But everything else I have, and I think that I do have some darker tone colors in here and maybe even some berry tones, I don't know. I don't know what I have. So we're just gonna go through the ones that I have one by one. I put them in their number order, not in their color order. Like I'm not doing all the pinks, all the reds, all the nudes. I just put them in number order because it was easiest on the website because they're in numbered order on the website. I figured that was easiest for you guys to see what you want, what you like, what you don't. So I am going to swatch all of them on my lips and on my arm. My lips will be burning by the end of this, but I love you guys, so it's what I do for you. So this is the packaging. It is just a black bottom that says City Color B Matte Lipstick. And then the top is clear, and then you can see the color on the top, and the numbers on the very bottom and on the side. So I want to go ahead and open these up. Now City Color is cruelty free, just so you know. And I think the regular price of these are $6.99 each United States dollars. And right now they're on sale for, I think it's $4.99, I think. Now, when you first watch these and you first get them, they do have a little bit of a skip to them. You have to kind of, you know, wear off the coating, but then they are smooth, smooth, smooth. I am wearing number one, Melon. So this is the color. I want to show you guys kind of, isn't it beautiful? Now, I don't know where on my arm I'm going to swatch this so you guys can see. I guess if I swatch it this way. Ooh. Color number one, Melon. This is just a gorgeous, neutral, everyday wearable tone not too orange it's not too red it's just really really pretty and I really like it what I love with these lipsticks is you'll notice as we go on they don't emphasize the lines on my lips at all just looks smooth and creamy so that's color number one melon color number two is pink now there are a lot of pink shades in this line and they all have different names there's like ultimate pink there's soft pink but this is just pink now a lot of these I'm swatching for the first time. So they do still have that coating on the top of it. This is just an everyday bright pink. Some of these do have a little bit of a florally scent, some of them don't. It's nothing overpowering. So that is number two pink. This is just a really bright, fun pink color. I really like it. I would say that of between like melon and pink, pink seems to be it needed a second pass. Melon was just one coat. Pink needed a second pass, but it's still really beautiful and it's not emphasizing any of my dryness on my lips. So that's pink. So the next one is number three and this one's called Mauve. So that's Mauve. There's Mauve the hand swatch. And there's mauve on the lips. That didn't need any build up. Really pretty, really nice, dark kind of, it has like, it says it's mauve, but it has a very nice hint of purple to it. I wasn't expecting that. I really like this color. So the next color is M4 Berry. And this is a very bright, I don't know if this is really gonna be a berry tone. It looks very bright pink. Yeah, this doesn't really look like a berry tone to me. It just looks like a really bright pink. Well, I guess you could say on the lips. It definitely looks like I've just bitten into like a raspberry or something. But that is berry number four. Number five is called red. Now, I have not swatched this one yet. Now, I did own red before, and I did give it away because I didn't like it. I found it very drying and not very smooth. But this one is very smooth. It's kind of like a pinky red.
But that is number five, red. It's pretty. You guys know I love a good red lipstick. I don't know if I showed you guys red. Super, super pretty. Okay, so the next color I have is number eight, fire. I have worn this one a bunch already. This is one of the ones that came in my haul. So pretty. This is gorgeous. I don't even know how to explain this color. It's like the perfect mix of red, coral, and pink. This is fire and I am in love with it. Next one is M9 Maroon. That's what it looks like. That's maroon. Mm, this one's super creamy. Super creamy. This is gorgeous. This is a berry tone shade. So that is M9 Maroon and really, really pretty. I'll show you guys on the arm again. The arm's getting a little crazy. It happens. The next color is M10 Bright Red. Oh my God, this looks like the perfect orange toned red, which I don't wear very often, but when I do, I like it to be really bright. Oh my God, can you guys see that? It's gorgeous. This one's also very creamy. Mm-hmm, look at that color. Just screams red in your face, beautiful. So this is Bright Red M10. The next color is M11, Ultimate Pink. I'm assuming it's going to be your typical super bright hot pink. That's Ultimate Pink down there. It's a blue tone pink. Again, super creamy. Definitely more of like a purpley blue undertone, but I love it. That's Ultimate Pink M11. M13 Coral is another one that I received with my order. Why don't we swatch this one up here? There's coral up in the top there. This is like a perfect Tanya color. I love bright coral lipsticks. And this one, it just does it for me. It's beautiful. That's it at the top. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. It looks great on. It's one of my favorite colors. So that's M13 coral. So now we are M14 salmon. This was another one that I had already had. Let's just go down here. Oh, that's like a super angled swatch. Sorry. It's right there. I love salmon. It totally does remind me of the inside of salmon. Beautiful, vibrant, bright pink. You can tell just from the tube that it's going to be vibrant, but then you get it on the lips and it's vibrant. It's gorgeous. So that's salmon, number 14. 14? 14. We are halfway. So then I've got M18 Soft Pink. This one looks way more like an everyday, really nice neutral color. I don't know where to swatch it. Like if I go over here, you guys won't really see it, so I'll go down here. So there's Soft Pink. This for me is very much like a pinky nude color. I have a lot of pigmentation to my lips. I was worried I wasn't going to like this color on, but actually I really do. So that is M18 Soft Pink. Now I think we're going to get into some of my more, the more red colors and some of the deeper colors. Now this is where they change from shade name to person name. M19 is called Jenny, and it looks like it's a gorgeous red toned color. And again, I still have no place to swatch on this arm. Put Jenny down here. There it is. It's like a pinky toned red. It's kind of like a cupid color. I don't know. I really like this. Really pretty. That's M19 Jenny. The next one is M20 Lola. And this one looks to be kind of a deeper dark red. I'm going to have to swatch on my hand soon. Let's go up the side a bit first. Ooh, no, that's gorgeous. That's like an everyday berry color. Ah. That's really pretty. It's kind of like a raspberry. 
It's like a red, but it has some purple. It has some deepness to it. Really beautiful. That's M20 Lola. Really pretty. Isn't they pretty? They look so pretty like this when they have all the colors on them. So the next color I have, M22 Sammy. And Sammy looks like a brighter red than Lola. It looks like the brights are back. And I'm gonna swatch this down the side as well. Yep, this one is definitely a brighter toned red. That's Sammy. So that is M22 Sammy. This is your classic red. It's not too blue, it's not too pink, it's just a classic-y, gorgeous red color. So the next one I have is M23 Lana, and this does look darker and deeper. I don't know how dark and deep, but definitely looks darker and deeper. So let's put it along the side here. Whoa! That's got pigment. That's really pretty. So that is M23 Lana. This is definitely a deeper, I would say like a red berry tone. It's not entirely red. It's got a little hint of that purple to it, but it is very pretty. So that is again M23 Lana. Seven more. M24 Brianda. This looks like a very deep color. I'm gonna put this one on my hand. Ooh, this is like a brick brownie red. This will give you that classic goth kind of vamp lip. It's very deep. It has like a red. It has a berry. It has almost a brownie tinge to it. I don't wear this color very often, but it's beautiful. M24 Brianda is what I think it is. It's B-R-I-A-N-D-A. -A. Next, we have M27 Felicia. And this is going to be, I think, a berry tone. Yep. Really pretty berry tone. There you have it, M27 Felicia. It's like a, it looks lighter here than it does on my lips. In person, it looks pretty dark, but it's really pretty. M28 Marissa, looks like it's more berry. Stephanie, I think I'm getting into like your whole realm of colors here. Ooh, these are kind of similar. Marissa looks a little more purple. My lips are so mad at me right now. So that is M28 Marissa on my lips. Tina, why do I not know what color of lips you like to wear? I don't know. Leave in the comments down below. Um, okay, M32 Nice. Now we're getting back into my realm of colors. This is a super bright fuchsia hot pink. Oh my God, it's so good. So good. Doesn't look like any of these up here. Mm-hmm. It's like a purpley toned hot pink. Really pretty. It's a fuchsia. It's beautiful. This color is gorgeous. This color is everything. So pretty. M33 Phoebe. Looks like we're headed back into the lighter tones. This looks like a really pretty mauvey color. Ooh, this is gorgeous. M33 Phoebe. This is like my lips but pinker. I like this a lot. That's Phoebe on my lips. I really like this color. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. Two more. M34 Valerie is really light. It looks like almost a nude neutral shade. That's Valerie. I like this. I think it's going to be a little hard to judge the true shade of this color because my lips are very stained from all the other ones, but this is Valerie. It looks like a My Lips But Better color. It's really pretty. I really like this. And then the last one, M36 Kelly. And this looks like another kind of neutral toned shade. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm kind of in love with that. So that is all 23. So that is all 23 shades I have. Now, I have Derma Shield all over my arm. 
and all over um, my hand. So I want to see if these will stain the Derma Shield. They shouldn't because Derma Shield is supposed to protect me. But of course, these are so pigmented that they are, which really sucks for my arm. Oh no, I hate when I stain my arm. It is so hard to go to my son's school and explain to people like, oh yeah, I was just watching makeup, lipstick all night long. They're always like, what is all over your arm? And I can't explain it to people because it's not something that everybody does. That's with Dermashield. How did that even happen? Uh, maybe Dermashield just doesn't react well with my body. I don't know. These might make it into top products for 2016, which is crazy because they were bottom products for 2014. I don't know if they reformulated, I don't know what they did, but I love them. I genuinely love them. I think that they are gorgeous on your lips. They don't dry you out to the point where you feel cracky. I mean, I put 23 on and my lips aren't dying. That tells you something. They're not like a liquid lipstick, but they are super, super beautiful, super, super pigmented. And I think for me, the most important part is that they're super, super affordable. I always want to be able to find these home drop like dominoes, reasonably priced lipsticks that are, um, that are, you know, you get a lot of product. My only drawback would be like, it's an online company that you need to purchase from online and then wait for them to come in. But I mean, if that really is your only drawback, you know, the price point is good, everything else is really good, then I'd say that that shouldn't really even be a drawback. That should just be like, that's how you get them. That's how I feel about ColourPop too. A lot of people tell me like, oh, I don't like ColourPop because I can only order online. And Makeup Geek. But when the product is so good, why would you ever, ever be like, uh, I don't want to order online so I'm not going to order it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Swatch Fest. If you have any of the colors of this line, the 11 that I don't own, please comment down below or tag me on Facebook or Instagram because I would love to see the colors that I don't own from this line. I tried to search the interwebs and I couldn't find many swatches of those colors. So I wanted to like kind of insert them for you guys, show you guys what the other ones look like, but I couldn't find them. So overall, this is my Swatchapalooza for City Color. Thank you guys so much for watching it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.